twisted true story. Three six 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 was the address where I had to deliver the pizza to. It was located in the middle of nowhere. It was my first night on the job, so I was a bit nervous, not to mention it was a first time customer. And to make matters worse, the house was also a funeral home, which creeped the hell out of me. But hell, it was a job and I needed the cash. There was no lights on, which was strange since it was only 8 p.m. on a Friday night and they had just ordered the pizza. As I rang the doorbell, no one answered. Instead, a dark figure of a person appeared in the upstairs window telling me to come on in. And when I opened the door, it was pitch black except for the moonlight that beamed down on an all black casket. There was a note to the side of me telling me that the money was on the stand next to the casket and to leave the order there also. Then, all of a sudden, the casket started to open slowly. Then I screamed and ran for my life. That was the last time I had ever worked delivery. When I was 12 years old, my parents went on vacation to the Virgin Islands for their second honeymoon, while my grandmother came to our house to babysit me until they got back. Later that night, I and my grandmother sat on the sofa watching horror movies till 12 AM. We started to get tired so we went to bed. Around 1 AM, I was awakened by the smell of food coming from the kitchen. So I got up and went downstairs to see why my grandmother was cooking at such a late hour. She had always been known for sleepwalking so I figured that was what she was doing. But when I got to the kitchen, it was not my grandmother at all, it was my mom. I asked her what she was doing back so early, and asked her where was my father, but she said nothing. She just kept cooking. Mom, did you hear me? I asked, but once again she just stood there cooking in a daze. I then walked over to her and tapped her on the shoulder. Then she finally turned around and smiled at me. But something was off about her. It looked like my mother, but it didn't feel like it was her. I went up to my grandmother's room to wake her up and told her what was going on. But she looked at me in a strange way and told me that what I was saying was impossible because my mom had just called her an hour ago to tell her goodnight. Obviously the woman downstairs was not my mom. We then called the police, but when they arrived she was nowhere in sight. There are a lot of things I don't remember about my childhood, but that was one scary moment that I will never forget. Twisted True Story I was on Snapchat when I was messaged by a guy who claimed that he used to be in one of my classes back when I was in school. But to be honest, I didn't remember who he was. The only reason I believe what he was saying is because I looked him up in my yearbook, and it was true. Over the next few weeks, we had really gotten to know each other and had spent countless hours messaging back and forth. So one day he asked me if he could stop by my house because he was going to be in the neighborhood. I was hesitant at first, being an introvert, but after he told me that he had been depressed lately, 
I agreed because I felt sorry for him. So we decided to meet on Friday. Friday had arrived, and around 7 p.m. my doorbell rang. But when I opened the door, he looked completely different than he looked in the yearbook. He looked much older. I told him before I could let him in, I would need proof that he was who he said he was, but then my phone rang so I told him to hold on while I answered it. While I was on the phone, I heard the door shut behind me. When I turned around, he had let himself in, shut the door, and locked it. I demanded him to leave, which only made him angry. He threatened to kill me. So I immediately ran into my basement, climbed out of the window, then ran to my neighbor's house to call the police. But when they arrived, he had fled through the back door. I never saw that guy ever again. I'm sure you've heard of school lockdown stories, but this one is a little different because the only people that were in the school was the school secretary and me. It was around 5 p.m. and I had realized that I had left my phone at school. So I'd turned back around to go get it. As I entered the classroom and found my phone, I heard a gunshot, then I heard the school secretary scream. I felt sick to my stomach and thought I was about to die. Then I immediately heard footsteps running down the hallway toward my classroom. So I panicked and grabbed the nearest object, which was only a ruler. Then the door flung open, and it was Mrs. Reynolds with a bullet wound in her arm, and blood was oozing from it. She told me that there was a gunman in the school, and it was her very jealous ex-husband who had been threatening to kill her for quite some time now and was there to finally kill her. I immediately grabbed my cell phone to call the police. But for some odd reason, I was getting no signal. Mrs. Reynolds had left her phone back in the office so we both prayed for a miracle as we heard heavy footsteps approaching the classroom. I know you're in there, and I'm going to kill you. Time to die. Then the door flung open. He started yelling, and making threats, as he walked toward us. But by the grace of God, he slipped in Mrs. Reynolds' blood on the floor, hit his head on one of the desks, and was out cold. We called the police, and the man was arrested for attempted murder. To this day, I can't seem to get that horrific day out of my mind. Introducing my very own animated horror streaming service, Dark and Twisted TV, with exclusive animated horror series for members only, featuring my girlfriend wants to kill me, her blood on my hands, introducing my new animated horror series, my girlfriend wants to kill me, the prequel, the high school days, playing exclusively on my new animated horror streaming service, Dark and Twisted TV. Find out how David and Crazy Mary first met in high school. Other fans have already joined. Don't be left in the dark. Join today. Link in the description.